हाय यो दिस इज नमन बंसल टीचिंग यू डिफरेंट रिग्रेशन टेक्निक्स ऑन अ सिंपल बाइक शेयरिंग डेटा सेट इन दिस ब्लॉग वी विल लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट रिग्रेशन टेक्निक्स बीइंग अप्लाइड ऑन अ सिंपल डेटा सेट व्हिच वाज टेकन फ्रॉम यूसीआई मशीन लर्निंग रिपोजिटरी we know that bike rentals are a major thing right now hence this data set was created by the us government to know how many people are taking bikes over a period of time or at an instant of a time this data set contains over 1000 to 2000 lines of day data which contains all the bike sharing details like date season year month is it a holiday or not is it a weekday or not is it a working day or not how much is the humidity wind speed and how much are the casual users and how much are the registered users and we'll get a total count of the rental bikes as you can see from the data set here most of the data set is in integer format except the date which was in object format and uh, <coughs> for to, for using this data set firstly we need to pre process our data set and why is that needed because sometimes a model can't directly understand a data set or the the form in which the data set is there is not directly accepted by the model hence we need to pre process it and the first step in pre processing which comes is feature selection <coughs> why do we do feature selection feature selection is basically done for two things firstly we can do feature selection if we want to increase our accuracy and secondly we can apply feature selection if we know clearly about our data set whether that attribute is needed in our data set or not hence in our data set i'll be dropping date season year month holiday etc uh, i can show you that here oh, we only drop the columns date and instant from a data set because instant is not needed that uh, comes directly into pandas data frame and then we'll be normalizing our data frame <coughs> Uh, we normalize our data set except the output column of course and our output column is the count count one hence we'll drop that first and keep it as y and x will be the rest of our data normalized and now we'll be dividing it into training and testing set for our algorithms to work we'll use the sklearn library from python for that and uh, this is the simple code for that now we come to the main part which is applying our regression techniques we'll be doing that most of them using the using the regular python libraries of sklearn so for linear regression and we'll be computing the mean squared error mean absolute error and r square for each and every technique we'll be applying so that we can compare them in the end here we are applying linear regression as you can see we directly use the linear regression function in present in sql on linear model and um, then we we'll, then we will calculate the errors using y test and y predicted where y predicted is the prediction we get from linear regression here we see that our r square has come to 0.28 which is not good not so good then comes the polynomial regression which is polynomial regression again we will be using sklearn for that and here is the accuracy for that r square for that then we come to decision trees and uh, same thing goes for decision tree using sklearn we get our r square as 0.6 then random forest and this was all very tiring because copying and pasting the same code just applying different models hence we'll try and like get a better display of 
our results here we will be using the library pretty tables and uh, hence we can now see I am applying each and every model here like linear regression, decision tree, random forest, line by line and then we can directly show it in the table like this from this table we can see that because we know r square is directly proportional to our accuracy so more the r square more we will get the accuracy here we see that bagging regressor comes around 0.4 and random forest regressor comes around 0.42 okay so we will be concluding that bagging regressor works best for our data set and you can find the code here and all my links to the to my different pages here thank you